Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Foods prediction videos for WrestleMania 31 for the WWE Championship Brock Lesnar vs Roman Reigns Now out of all of my videos I've been trying to put the result of the match at the end but this match it's Roman Reigns I am 95% sure Roman Reigns will walk out of WrestleMania WWE Champion. The 5% is a money in the bank cash in, meaning 0% Brock Lesnar is walking out WWE Champion. Now, the big question isn't how the match is going to go. It's is the fans going to accept Roman Reigns as champion? I personally hope so. Because I've heard many comparisons for this match. Comparisons to Goldberg vs Brock Lesnar, where the crowd just completely ripped it apart because they knew both guys were leaving the company. So it was like, well, does it bloody matter, sort of thing. I've seen comparisons from Roman Reigns to Diesel with his title reign, where it was kind of lackluster and people were scared that it's going to repeat again. But this mostly stems from the build-up also, that's what people claim. My belief is that the fans wouldn't be happy with the build-up of the match unless it was Daniel Bryan. Now, my belief has always been that if you made this match a triple threat match, adding Daniel Bryan to it, it would be bad because it's just a repeat of last year. And if you put Daniel Bryan in the match, he's got to win it, because otherwise the fans will rebel, just like they did at the Royal Rumble. The other option is to replace Roman Reigns with Daniel Bryan, and I think that's a big mistake. I would just like to bring your attention to Friday's gauntlet match, where it was Daniel Bryan and Luke Harper. And Luke Harper did a variation on a German suplex. It wasn't a German suplex, I know. The point being is he tossed him over his head and he landed on his neck. And did you hear the crowd's reaction? Now change Luke Harper to Brock Lesnar. He won't only be dumped on his head once like he was with Luke Harper. It would be again and again and again. And you can't take the German suplex away from Brock Lesnar because that's one of his main moves. That's what he's been doing. He's been having matches and he's just been German in everybody. So it would be the most uncomfortable match you've ever seen because you'd just be sitting there saying one of those Germans go wrong. He could be paralyzed. And it's a legitimate fear. It's not like Ooh, maybe he's going to be completely beat down when it's just the performance thing. No, if something on the neck of Daniel Bryan goes wrong, he could be paralyzed. So you don't want to put him against someone who's going to dump him on his head again and again. It is the biggest mistake you could make. But this only goes to the build-up problems I was talking about before. It all comes to the Royal Rumble. Having the Royal Rumble in Philadelphia was your first mistake, WWE. You know the Philly crowd. You know that they're ECW country. You know they don't take bullshit. Having Roman Reigns win the Royal Rumble in Philadelphia was stupid. You've been planning this for months. Next, you brought Daniel Bryan back and put him in the Royal Rumble. Now, I understand that you didn't want a repeat of last year where they were booing because Daniel Bryan wasn't there. But I think this could be easily solved with uh, before the Royal Rumble, Daniel Bryan comes out and says, I'm sorry guys, I'm still recovering from my neck injury. I can't make it to the Royal Rumble. And yes, you'll still have the occasional guy going, Ooh, it's a twist! But don't put him in the event, don't put him in the Royal Rumble, don't put him in the pay-per-view, have him nowhere near it. But they didn't do that, they had him. So, the next thing I would do, if I was told I had to have Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble match, and you had to have it in Philly, because you had only just thought, yeah, Roman Reigns is going to be our champion for the end of WrestleMania. You say, right, number one entry, Daniel Bryan. Then you get a few people out, maybe up to number ten. So he's in there for a, a little while. He's not in there for a ridiculously long time, like people were suggesting, because I think that would be worse. 
So you put him in there until like about number 10, then you eliminate him with a big heal, which is what they did. They did it with Bray Wyatt to help build Bray Wyatt, and I think that helped a bit. But then when the Philly crowd starts grumbling, going, oh, boo, then you give them a couple of more entries just to uh, get it out of their system. Just a few, just stick out like about five mid carders that you know are never gonna win. And then about like number 15, that's when you hit Bubba Ray Dudley. This is ECW country, they're gonna pop like hell, like they did. Maybe then, uh, keep him in there, maybe then you stick a couple of guest appearances like uh, DDP and you keep him in there longer than they were. And yeah, you get them to do the whole diamond cutters and the Devon get the table even though Devon's not there. Then you get them to build everyone up again. Then you hit Roman Reigns in and you clear the ring of these legends. And then Roman Reigns wins the match. I think that is your best chance of getting Philly and Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble and not have it damage Roman Reigns too much. Yeah, there will still be a few rumbles, but that's why I said don't have them two things. It's just don't. It was stupid to book it like that, but if you had to, there it is. Then the next mistake they made is they gave Daniel Bryan another chance. Which, to be honest, it helps Daniel Bryan because it builds on his underdog putting walls in front of him character. That was good for Daniel Bryan, but bad for Roman Reigns. Because again, you're giving the fans that opportunity. Shouldn't have done it. You're getting their hopes up to take it away from them. Now, this would be the perfect position to turn Roman Reigns heel if that was the plan. To try and fix it, say, oh, they're turning against him. Let's turn him heel like we did The Rock. And see if that works. They didn't. Instead, they did the predictable thing where Danny Bryan lost, which he should have done, and then he shook his hand to try and say, hey, I believe in him now. You guys be okay with him, which again is damage control, but I think the whole putting it down, it wasn't enough. How I think Roman Reigns should have been booked after the Royal Rumble is he should be destroying everybody. Have him every week on Raw, come through, Big Show, Kane, Mark Henry, these sort of guys that are a threat, but they're not going to be damaged by being beaten so easily by Roman Reigns. Have him tear them apart week after week and never losing, not even in a handicap match, like he did. On top of that, doing all the Paul Heyman stuff that they were doing. But I do agree that Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns shouldn't touch each other like they haven't. I'm concerned that on the last Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania, that they're going to touch each other. I don't think that's right. I think what they do is they have to stare down, face to face stare down, and then there's your WrestleMania thing to build up, and at the end of the uh, vignette, you had to stare down, and during a match for Roman Reigns, have him blow someone up. It doesn't matter who it is, just completely destroy them so they can say yeah he's ready for Wrestlemania and then there you go but there's another way they can damage control and it's got nothing to do with anything that Vince McMahon or Triple H can do right now the build-up has been lackluster so people aren't looking forward to it the way they can fix it is be awesome be on top of the game fire on all cylinders literally do stuff that you've never seen before both of them especially Reigns Reigns should be pulling out all the stops and have one hell of a match because no one's expecting it and when you don't expect something it makes it all the much better but what do you think do you think that Daniel Bryan should have been in this match do you think that Roman Reigns will be a good champion and also do you like the way I did the Wrestlemania predictions where I did a video for every single match because if I get enough people saying this is the way I like them and I like the more detail then I will consider doing it for every pay-per-view but if you think it's too much let me know that as well I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please like favorite and subscribe I am the food thanks for listening